This is my new cell design. It's five inch, three quarter, five inches long, three quarter inch pipe, five inches long. Like I said, um, the small ones are uh, quarter inch diameter, five inches long. I have them arranged inside the tube with spacers on the inverted gaps and I have it set down in a pre-drilled diesel cologne case. So there it is. There's my battery meter. There's my pulse wave generator and I'm going to turn it on now. 12 volts 6 amps. You can see that on. Turn the switch on. Oh, it was already up. And as you can see, lots and lots of gas. And just to show you that it is what I say it is. Lots of burn. And there you have it. And the steel is 316 steel. Ordered from onlinemetals.com. Okay, here is my new cell design. As you can see, there are three barrels. This is all 316 stainless. Uh, these are gapped with taped together Q tips. Two per indentation on the uh, tri barrel configuration. And they're just all set in there. Uh, the very bottom, look here, is uh, taped, the electrician's tape to hold it together. Uh, I got my connector wires connected, inner tubes are positive, outer tube is negative. Uh, in case you're wondering, this base is from a diesel cologne. And that's what I made my vacuum chamber out of too. I used a, a hose attachment. Uh, that has a washer, uh, got the um, intake uh, coupling here, um, 3 8 hose, outer diameter, 1 quarter inner diameter, um, and I've got my water mix here, which is nothing but regular tap water, and 2 tablespoons of baking soda, and then my bubbler. I've got going on here is the vacuum chamber just sets right on top and as you can see inside there is a uh, three-quarter inch hole basically acts as the cap off for the top of this isolating all of the gas water is allowed to get in there and it uh, completely consumes the top of this and the only exit for the gas is through the hose so I'm going to put this on here and um, see it's a little tricky doing it with just one hand so I'm going to shut off basically that goes up in there okay now on the vacuum chamber I have three holes drilled in the top four holes actually sorry on the bottom there are two holes drilled in the bottom. As you see, that's the bottom of that there. And then uh, we got our positive lead and negative lead coming out of the base of the uh, diesel cologne container. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this down in the water. And you got to kind of push it in there. And the vacuum chamber is going to fill up with water. And it'll fill up to about um, about 95% of the way. And there's a little air pocket in there, but not really too worried about that. So I mark my wires, uh, black negative, spare reds positive. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and connect those up. My red, 
positive, black, negative, and I'm going to take my bubbler hose and stick it in here. Because of the vacuum chamber is so weak that uh, if you have the, the tube all the way down, it forces the gas back down inside the vacuum chamber. Um, anyway, there it is. There's my pulse wave modulator. You can get that unit off of hydrogengarage.com. And I'm going to turn it on. It's on 12 volts, 6 amps. Okay, you can't really see anything in there. But if you come over here, you can see we're getting lots and lots of gas. I'll just show you that that's what it is. have it. Eventually I'm going to, that was a nice one, I'm going to get this hooked up with a pressurized chamber so that I can set up a nice little HHO torch, cutting torch.